Hello and welcome to this edition of Keeping It Honest. I'm your host, Darren Dukes. Now, in the news recently, we all heard about the Secret Service members getting on with a couple prostitutes down in Colombia, if I'm not mistaken. Now, nope, some of them have been fired, resigned, and this thing is still under investigation. No, for, just in case, if you don't know what the Secret Service is, they are the people that um, buy our taxpayers' dollars are hired to protect the President of the United States because, you know, we can't just send the President over to a foreign country unprotected because if he gets shot or something, oh, that's it. We screwed up. So, anywho, the reason why this thing has blown up big time in the following reasons. Now, please try to keep up with me. One, it's the Secret Service of the United States. Two, the person who the um, Secret Service members, selective Secret Service members, pay to have sex with, because again, they prostitutes, and prostitution is legal in that country, they didn't pay them the amount of money that they wanted. So they ratted, the prostitute ratted them out to the police, and you see how this happened. Three, this is a national security issue. National security issue? There are, how is this a national security is, issue? Well, let me tell you that person who don't know what the heck is going on. Because, again, the President of the United States travels to a foreign country. People might put a hit. A hit means money out on somebody to assassinate them. And could possibly kill the president, which could start a war, which we don't have the money to do that, which will end up in nuclear bombs being blown, Iran, don't even try to fuck with Israel, because this will happen to you, we will blow you up, but that's a different story for a different case, anywho, getting back to this, keeping it honest, if they are idiots. Why do I say they're idiots? They do it while they on duty. Any good person would know if you're going to do it with a prostitute, you do it off you're off the clock. You're on the clock and you're protecting the president of the free world. Uh president of the United States. Let me put it like that. And you wanna get your something something on? Really? Really? You can't do that, my friend. Uh, why you on the clock? Well, you're off the clock. That's a totally different case that you could pay them. But why you on the clock? Don't do that. And another thing. Thank you, common sense prostitutes. Because I mean, if we had people who are just like you in this country, rape would be down so low. It will be down at an unemployment rate right about now. So thank you, prostitute who called the police, who caused all those Secret Service members to get in trouble and either have been suspended, fired, or can't travel to the nearest um, Secret Service office in their respective states. So thank you, common sense prostitute. And thank you, no common sense, no Secret Service, selective Secret Service members. For almost given, for almost because of your frisking around, almost had the president of the United States killed. Now, for the record, they said that he wasn't in there at the time. He was scheduled. He was supposed to fly out a couple of days later. By the time the Secret Service members got there, but frankly, I don't care. You almost had the leader, the of the, well, I can't say the greatest nation ever lived, but. The, one of the greatest nations killed all because you couldn't get it on or something. I don't know what y'all could have possibly done in there with some Colombian prostitutes. But you know, case closed. For this edition of Keeping It Honest, stop me, host Derek Dukes. Please feel free to leave a comment anytime. Later.